Welcome, one and all. Hi, Renuka, and hello, Eric. I love you. We're, Hi, we're, Mom. Love you. We're going to start something new today. Uh, we're going. This is the uh, lecture number one of Professor Eric's virtual classroom, and it's going to be Journey of the Soul. So we're going to have a new playlist on our YouTube channel uh, called Professor Eric's Virtual Classroom. So tell us, Eric, what, yeah. well, tell us whatever you want. Hey, you got the classroom, okay? You got the chalkboard, you got the mic, whatever you want to say. Actually, you don't have a chalkboard, but whatever. You got the mouth. You got the mouth, so go for it. <laughs> so uh, he's showing me like he's in a classroom and he's standing on a stage and he's dressed like a, like a professor, very formally with a tie and a black rimmed. Uh, glasses and he has of course a huge blackboard uh, behind it and he's showing me that these classrooms have benches and you're sitting on one bench and I'm sitting on another bench and he's about to start his today's lecture and he says um, mom so here, here it is what I want to do is he sort of uh, uh, gives me a feeling that he wants to give back to the members to the subscribers in a way that, you know, uh, they sort of understand from one topic to another topic in a synchronized flow and they don't get so much confused with concepts and the interrelation between these concepts. So you think this will be a course in human life, in, in reincarnation, in karma, all the concepts connected together, which will uh, sort of give lot of um, lot of information and wisdom on the purpose of this lifetime the purpose uh, of human life and of course the journey of reincarnation how it goes uh, how it goes back and forth what is the actual purpose of human life why are we stuck in reincarnation so he is wanting to start teaching about all of that right from the basics right from the beginning of the journey of the soul. So he says we'll be having lessons and these lessons will of course be connected and they'll flow from one topic to another, but they'll be connected. So there is more understanding and uh, more uh, usefulness of the wisdom and knowledge that is uh, coming through these channelings. So right. he's showing that he is, uh, he is in that classroom and we are his students. And that's why he's calling himself Professor Eric Roon Medus. He's written, Professor Eric Rune Medus lectured one journey of the soul. Aww. How he is going to uh, go forward and teach each and every concept in a very, um, in a very sophisticated, in a very detailed way, which flows from one topic to another, so that there is no confusion and there is more understanding of all these basic concepts. Uh, finally, he's saying it's about life, mom. It's about life and the purpose of life. Uh, he's saying there's so much suffering to this life, but imagine if you, you know, fulfill the purpose, why we took this life and why we are going through this suffering. If we fulfill that purpose, this suffering is going to be worth it. This ride is going to be worth it. So he wants, uh, he wants to teach through, through the channel on how to arrive at that specific, of course, the purpose is uh, specific and subjective to each and every soul, but he wants to teach how to arrive at that purpose and how to fulfill that purpose of this particular lifetime, because right now we are focused here in this present moment, our consciousness is here, and to make this journey worth it, to make this suffering worth it. So he wants to start right from point A, you know, right from uh, the first scene. Uh, he's calling it as the journey of the soul and he's showing me that we need to first come to the basics to the starting point where a soul was born so he's not talking about reincarnation as in when we were born in a body but he's going back to the starting point where a soul was born when it gets separated from the creator the source energy so he's saying if you want to understand this part of your journey, it's very important you go back and understand where this original journey of the soul actually started. And he's saying, yeah, he's saying that means the birth of the soul. 
not the birth of the soul in the body, not the reincarnation in the bo human body, but the origin of the soul, the birth of the soul. And he's saying, I'll be giving an analogy of, um, of you know, maybe me or maybe him or maybe you, that this is your journey and how it started and how it progressed to reach to this particular lifetime. And then we'll come to this lifetime, come to the purpose of this particular lifetime, how we are doing, what was the soul plan, what was the spiritual contract, and so on and so forth. Okay. So he's saying, Mom, um, I wish to tell you first how it all came into existence. Our creator, he says, our quirky creator, the universal source, or God, or light, or universal energy, whatever you like to call it, however you want to relate with it. The source energy is dividing itself in, into small, small parts because it wants to experience itself in different small parts, okay? And this division of souls is happening all the time and the souls are being born out of the creator all the time and these souls are called the new baby souls okay he's saying. so he's saying picture this your soul was not existing before it was a part of the creator it was the part of the whole the universal energy the source energy and then he's showing you a vision that a drop or a small point of consciousness sort of popped out of that universal uh, creator source energy whatever you want to call it so he's saying it's dividing itself into small, small parts. That's what we call the Big Bang Theory. And that's what we call, you know, um, how the existence came into, came into being. And so he's sticking to just one soul, which has come out. And he's saying, let's say it's you, mom. <laughs> let's go back to your original birth as a soul. So he's saying, mom, you didn't exist. And now suddenly you exist. Imagine what you will feel. Imagine what questions you will have. Imagine your confusion, imagine your frustration. You start asking, who am I? You know, how, how, how did this happen? I was not existing. How do I came into existence? And who oh, am I? I got a he question, says, teacher. The I got a question. <laughs> I know you're explaining this yes. in a way that because we humans have linear time so you have to explain it this way but we have always existed right i mean there's no time there so how 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 so how can you he's saying mom when i say yeah he's saying, mom when i say that we've already we have always existed so we have always been a part of the whole and then there was a point where this small part gets separated from the creator. But we were always there. Even the other parts of the creator, we did exist in, in that essence. Okay. The essence oh. is different. Oh, yeah. But, okay. yeah, I got it. Yeah. So he's saying, of course I existed even before I didn't exist. But that small consciousness which gets focused on that one particular point, is what is where I get my specific identity as in I am that part of the creator you are this part of the creator but again we are actually one we always existed because the universal source of energy oh. always existed I see I see like the wagon wheel uh, concept that Eric said yes the wagon wheel always existed yeah, yeah. Uh, the hub but then those spokes you know, we go down that spoke to live a life, this spoke to live a life, and the spokes are all there, but we going down this is fractals. Okay, I got it. And, and then yeah, it turns to and that. that track is the our yes. life uh, life is time, linear time. Okay. So he's saying now I'm talking about this one I know he's saying that I'm talking about this one spoke, the the if you're talking about the wagon wheel and the spokes so i'm talking about that one spoke in that wheel and the beginning of that beginning of the awareness of the conscious awareness in that spoke of the wheel so this awareness keeps changing 
it starts from a point it evolves evolves it keeps changing and it reaches and, and the journey is ever continuing what did you say the so, what uh, keeps, he, the what keeps um the venus it sounds like what did you say the consciousness the oh, consciousness, consciousness the okay. consciousness of it Got it. keeps evolving it keeps evolving it keeps growing and that's how the wheel uh, the, the way the wheel moves and the consciousness goes through different experience and it keeps evolving from one point to another awareness the consciousness keeps rising okay. so in awareness. that sense okay. he says yeah, yeah. okay well so let, in me that sense, he, let me back up because a lot of people have never heard the wagon wheel um deal so eric says that um there's this big ha this big wagon wheel right and your higher self is the hub and uh you know the spokes are all the lifetimes yeah. living past present and future and you know you live and oh, sucks back up to ourself when you die and all this and then it's going going into the you know sort of uh, turning in the mud and that is you know the track the time right. train right. so anyway i guess that whole thing Facing is Okay, yeah. Ahead. So now he's talking about the higher self, the consciousness of the higher self coming into the being. It's after that that it divides itself into different parts, and you know, small parts of that. Again, the soul, the higher self, it divides itself into different parts and reincarnates in different timelines. Although the timeline, the time is linear, but it divides itself into different parts, and these different parts are experiencing the same. uh the same reality but in different timelines and of yes. course each reality influences and affects the other reality so right now our consciousness our awareness is right now focused on completely on this timeline so we right. might be in other timelines also they might be affecting the, uh, the future timeline might be affecting this one even the past has affected this present timeline but right now our consciousness our awareness is more focused on this particular present moment of reality we are experiencing right now so there's a bunch so this of, is one of wheels like that yes yes and he also says this it's like a big stack of books and we happen to be pulling out yes. one book right now but all those other ones are stacked either below or above yeah yeah and they all influence and affect each other the information yeah. in each of them it keeps changing and influencing and affecting each other so that's how you discuss but right now he says he's talking about the higher self the higher self coming into being yeah. the spoke of the wheel coming into the being yes it the the moment it separates from the creator so that way there are many higher selves there are many original spirit souls which are getting separated from the creator soul he's saying and the moment that spirit that soul asks who am i starts searching for its identity for its existence and when it asks who am i that's when the consciousness is being both that's when the awareness separates from the creator energy and a new consciousness is formed which we call the baby soul so he is sort of trying to uh, explain the journey of the soul so that we come to reincarnation in the human body so that we understand our past better and that's how you'll be able to understand our current lifetime and the purpose and the goal of this present reincarnation yeah so he is saying that mom this is the higher self which has which has just separated from the creator soul which has just come into being of course it always existed as a part of the creator but right now it has separated and it exists now the journey of the soul he is saying it's all about realizing that we are the creator but because we have separated from the creator how do we realize how what what creator we are what the creator is so he says you separate from the creator this is the creator source energy you separate separate from the creator to understand what the creator is you go through the experience of experiencing everything that the creator is not yeah now wow. so this is the creator source energy the soul gets separated and it is wanting to understand who it is to understand who it is which is the part of the creator it needs to understand what the creator is not so everything outside the creator 
he says everything outside the creator when it experiences everything that the creator is not okay it comes to a point where it realizes oh this is what the creator is and that's the point of liberation and it is able to merge back with the creator stop existing and again become a part of the creator so, so the entire journey is about yeah is that that's where it, you realize that separation is a, an illusion and you just merge illusion. back illusion yes yes exactly he's saying yes mom you got it you so got it you wow. will wow that how you will understand that take uh, he's saying it's not only the reincarnation part that you're looking at. So he's saying the journey is, this is the creator. There are, there is a time the soul spends in its original home, which is the spirit world, which is closest to the creator energy, the source energy, the perfect world, which we call it, okay? That's the original home of all the spirit souls, which have, uh, uh, which have ever come into existence after getting separated from the creator. So he says the soul, once it gets separated from the creator, it does not just start reincarnating right away. It oh. first, like just like a baby, you know, like a baby when it's born, you know, he's oh. giving that analogy that like, mom, uh, when you were born, did you start going to the school directly? You know, uh, oh. so he's saying once you are born, you are born into a family of your loved ones who, uh, you know, tell you, who try, who try to teach you to learn, uh, to talk, to eat, to sit, to stand. So those are those basic initial years when the soul is trying to understand because it, has, it was not into existence and it has just come into existence. And the soul is trying to understand what is this existence, what is this world, what is the creator. So the soul, uh, the initial part of the journey of the soul is in the spirit world itself, where it tries to understand its identity, the world around it. And then there are uh, advanced guide souls who are present there, who guides this baby soul and explains it to it that this is the journey that you are on. This is how you have separated. And if you want to go back and merge into the creator, you will have to go through this entire journey of understanding what the creator is by experiencing everything outside the creator. So he's saying this is the, this is the source energy. This right. is the initial part of the journey of the soul where it's still trying to find its footing. And this is only in the spirit world. Okay. And this is the middle part is the reincarnating on the physical worlds. And then again, we have the advanced levels of the spirit world that the soul again has to work hard and after that the liberation comes okay are we talking so the journey is oh are we talking only about mm -hmm. humans uh, human souls or do, do uh, other um no all the souls universally all, all the souls all the all life forms right all life forms all life forms because he's saying mom a soul is a soul is a soul life forms yeah. is only when the, a soul chooses to reincarnate in the physical world it's and, only and then when it chooses the forms okay so and that's why eric says that you know people say i, I want to be a vegetarian because i don't um you know i care about animals but he says that that you could be a vegetarian for other reasons but a broccoli soul is just as valuable um yeah anyway. yeah that's that's the experience yeah that's the experience the soul has gone through yeah. So what are the, those that are helping these baby souls, is that some sort of specialty? Um, the, the yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. He's saying, yes, mom, you're right. So again, um, again, he's giving an analogy he's saying, mom, you are living this human experience. So I'm going to give you an analogy, uh, which is, which will help you understand it better. So I need to compare it to your human life. So he's saying, just like your parents had siblings. Okay. You have siblings. Your parents had siblings, you had siblings, and not all of you all were, uh, were similar. Although you came from the same DNA, from the same parents, similarly, the souls which are getting, uh, you know, separated from the universal source, yeah. they have different soul characteristics. That's what we call soul characteristics. Okay. So, is, that like, is that spiritual DNA? Does that have any relationship to spiritual DNA that I hear people talk about? Uh, 
he's saying yes mom you're correct but the spiritual dna um, uh, uh, is mean, means more towards the type and kind of consciousness it has achieved till date uh, here i'm talking about here i'm talking about soul characteristics so there are souls dividing from the creator and it really depends on the time and the manner and from which part of the creator the soul separates itself so the way that you know you have four children and all of them will be different they all inherit different genes and dna although the uh, the parent is same the source is the same similarly the souls getting divided from the creator they will all have different soul characteristics so he's also giving one another uh, analogy saying say mom um, if the creator is an ocean if the creator is an ocean and he's showing me that he's uh, you know taking out a glass of water from one part of the oh, yeah. ocean so he's saying that might, might be a uh, bluer the salinity might be higher yeah, yeah. and uh, there must be more, more sand in it and maybe if he picks up a glass of water say some from a farther part of the ocean there the salinity yeah. might be lower yeah, I, and, and I, it might be a lot of it a lot of it has to do with astrology like uh, alan vera uh, when he talked about yeah. how astrology really works it's the soul passed through certain you know planetary alignments etc then that really does uh, at their birth date and place etc affect okay. how Definitely. yeah okay yes. y'all need to watch exactly. that how exactly. astrology really works uh it's fascinating and i'm uh, a power cusper right on the cusp of um taurus and aries so maybe that makes me difficult i don't know oh uh okay so no <laughs> okay i want to then know what the next journey you're in nursery school but before i forget yeah um um so what we're our objective is is to experience to really learn as many of the facets of love as we can so that we can remember that we are love or understand love. and and is that am i understanding that correctly yeah so he yeah yeah he's saying mom if creator if the source energy is love for you then you're correct what does your creator what does your source energy stands for you if it's love for you yes you're meant to learn and experience what love is not all the facets of what yeah. love is not to actually yeah. understand what love is actually and to feel it and experience it in its entire totality and that's when you know what love is and then when you know what love is you become love and you merge with merge back with the creator because you have that consciousness that level of consciousness well, to merge back with love. the creator because your experience you already are yeah. love a source is love yeah. but source has never experienced he he she it uh he it's the the concept of love is there but this is its opportunity to, to experience it through yeah. through these little spirits in different okay yeah. okay so okay go so on then say, what's this? graduate from nursery school then what then you're in preschool <laughs> yeah he's saying mom you're a small small plumpy kiddish cute baby imagine yourself as a small kiddy plumpish soul baby he's saying and he's saying you are this cute little uh plumpy small baby and you're wandering uh, around in I'm the spiritual fat chain <laughs> in my soul okay then what now so uh, yeah so he's saying you're wandering around in the spirit world trying to understand how did you get separated from the creator how did you come into existence where were you before this and did you exist did you not exist and how did this entire existence came into being and then you have advanced guide souls who have who have separated long back from the creator soul and they uh, they have this duty of um, you know guiding and um, guiding and helping these souls understand how they how they came into being what is the journey all about the creator is trying to experience itself through their small consciousness and they guide that little baby soul in the basic levels in the initial levels to the spirit world which he says that is our original home and since we are big huge family the souls who have separated earlier than me earlier than you 
they have this duty because it's it's one means right you growing is then growing you know it's like a family right. and just like your family your parents your siblings your immediate family they come together to take care of the baby to uh, explain it the basic concepts to explain it basic sustenance and survival in a new world it finds itself in that's how the soul find its baby step in the basic levels of the spirit world so are you talking and about soul until, family? Or are you talking about your soul family is this the creation of the soul family yeah, yeah. but not the, the yes, family yeah. on earth you you're talking about the soul okay got it got it original, yeah original soul family yeah okay now uh, so, wait, you, oh, so you say we're separated from source is there no in, energetic connection at all it oh, no, always it, will be there is we are all yeah. Always. Yeah. Well, there's there's always going to be separation. Okay, got it, got it. Okay, yeah. got it. No, oh, I'm sorry. Yeah. So he says that, uh, mom, just like uh, you need to spend first initial years when you're born, first initial years being in the safe environment of your house, being guided and supervised by your parents, by your siblings, until you learn the basic act of so survival and sustenance in the new world that you find yourself in, you are kept very safe and secure in your home and our home as a, as a spirit, as a spirit soul closest to the creator is the spirit world, which we call the original home. And we are guided and we are taught the basics. And then we come to a point where these basics get exhausted. We have learned everything that the basic levels of the spirit world had to teach us. So yes. he's saying this is, he's showing me that this is the creator source energy and this soul is here and these are the basic levels of the spirit world and there is a gap in between and here are the advanced levels of the spirit world. So he's saying once you have learned all the basics, that is the preschool, the nursery and this is the college. So if you have, if you want to enter college, it's very important that you finish your pre preschool, your nursery and you finish the higher school, higher secondary school. So he says this higher secondary school consists of reincarnating into the physical worlds because the basics of the spirit world is only just one aspect of what you're learning. To learn the opposites of it, you need to reincarnate into the physical world. How, how many so levels he's saying, are, mom, if... How many levels, I'm sorry, are yeah. in preschool, nursery school, all that? you said these levels, how many are there? Or does it matter? Uh, he's saying, Mom, there are as many levels. It really matters. What really matters to a soul is, so some soul might, you know, graduate with just two levels of preschool and okay. Okay. two so levels of preschool and they are ready to jump to the school. And some souls might need more time into the, in the nursery and the preschool. Okay. So it's, it's really subjective with every soul he's saying. I got you. And I got of, course, you. You know, of course, there are no judgments. So he's kind of giving me an analogy that this is the source energy. These are the basic levels of the spirit world. And these are the advanced levels of the spirit world. After finishing the basic levels of the spirit world, if the soul wants to jump to the advanced levels of the spirit world, because this is where the journey gets really interesting and you're closer to, to liberation, he says, it does not get the entry. Simply because he's again giving the analogy like, after after your uh, nursery you can't jump to college so if you put a kid off nursery and uh, you know let it appear for college exams it wouldn't it wouldn't understand well what, unless what the browser, maybe yeah Even then, <laughs> you get picked on. yeah yeah Third. so he's saying uh, the the learning and experiencing of the basic levels of the spirit world will only be complete and you'll be only eligible to enter the advanced levels of the spirit world, which is closer to the final liberation, when you have learned the entire concept of the basics. Now, basics, he's saying, is just one aspect because the spirit world has only a so-called good reality. It's just one aspect. To finish the learning of that aspect, of that particular aspect, you need to come down to experience the opposite of it because the physical worlds are the mirror or the opposite worlds of our original perfect spirit world. So he's saying you'll, yeah. 
Okay, so okay. yes, my basically in the he's saying yes, my <laughs> I had to raise my hand. Uh, <laughs> so basically, you're learning all about what we just talked about. Here, you're gonna go down. You can experience hell on earth because here's why. You need to understand the the. You have to have experience duality. Understand all that. That's that. That's where you learn the theory, right? Then you you actually reincarnate to you know you. you you experience the opposite of what you learned yeah. in the spirit world. Yeah. You, you take the chemistry classroom, there we go, and now you're, you're doing the lab. You're doing the experiencing. Yeah. Okay, is that what you're talking about? But then I don't know He's what the college is get into that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's saying, uh, Mom, you need to understand that uh, this world closest to the creator is the most perfect world we find ourselves in. and we experience joy, we experience love, light, happiness, kindness, brotherhood, oneness. There are yeah. beautiful things to experience, but to encompass the entire experience, the entire understanding of that experience, it's very important. We experience the opposite of it. Yes. And to experience the opposite of it, the physical worlds were made in, in the mirror image of the spirit world. Yes. So he says, and people complain that why human life is so miserable, why there is so suffering, why there is old age, why there is death, why there is disease. He says, hello, that's why you are here because you don't have it in the original world. You don't have all these experiences in the original world. So that's the point of coming into the human life. And he, he's saying also, he's emphasizing on this, that there is no force. It's your choice. It's your will. And it's very simple, mom. He's saying it's very simple to understand. So he's showing me a vision, you know, that you have learned everything. You have spent eons and eons of yours in the basic levels of the spirit world. And then you go to your advanced guide souls and you tell them, I am sick, tired and bored of, you know, this same continuous reality you know, all the time. I'm sick and tired of my existence because I'm experiencing the same reality again and again. I need to change this. Let me go to the advanced levels of the spirit world. And that's when the guide souls tell the little soul, Ki, hey, if you really want to enter college, if you want an admission in the college that is the advanced levels of the spirit world, you really need to pass your test and you really need to pass your school. Mm. And uh, he's, he's showing me uh, that the soul, the little baby soul, he said, okay, tell me what do I need to do? Where do I need to go? So, of course, we have choice of reincarnating on different physical worlds. And each physical world has its own physical form. And they teach you various lessons which help you, you know, understand the totality of the concepts that you have already learned in the basic levels of the spirit world. So he's saying you have a choice to reincarnate into any of these physical worlds to finish your learning or you have a choice to stay there at that level of the spirit world and do nothing and just keep existing and he's saying mom how long will you exist how long will you experience the same reality you can't any and every soul would like to move ahead and if any soul is scared of coming to the physical world even it gets so much tired and sick of that yeah. continuous same reality that you will have to come down it's your own free will so there's a reason you choose to reincarnate yeah there's a reason you choose to reincarnate and no one is forcing it onto you so your guide so from, from nurse from preschool he's uh nah i'm sick yeah. of having my diapers changed i gotta do something different is that what you're saying right yeah 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 okay so he says ultimately it's a soul's choice so, uh, mom, you might decide it uh, early on that, no, I am, I'm done with this reality and I need to learn, I need to move forward. And if you are an ambitious soul, if your soul characteristic is more of an ambition, you will not waste more time and you will jump into the reincarnation wagon. Okay. And supposedly I am a weaker soul. I get scared, you know, because when my guide souls tell, uh, tell me, okay, these are the physical world and these are the kind of experiences and the peep down and I see, oh my God, there's death, there's suffering, there's disease, there's oh. pain, there's spiritual amnesia. Okay. And it's, oh my God, I'm not going, I'm not going there. I'm happy here. But then how long can I be happy 
in that same reality uh-huh. which keeps repeating itself which i've already experienced eon number of times yeah. or eons so he's saying um, at every point of time uh, a given soul at one point at any point of time finally decides to take the plunge yeah and that's where the reincarnation game begins then of course you have a choice uh, he says that which physical world you want to reincarnate in and you will obviously choose a physical form and a physical world which will teach you most of the lessons in in a limited number of time so that your learning is complete sooner than later and you can enter the advanced levels of the spirit world after breaking the reincarnation wheel Wait, let me ask you this. What do you mean you can choose your physical world? You're talking about you want to choose a place on earth or earth versus yes. another well, place it is. or what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yeah. right. Exactly. Yeah. Which one? So whatever your soul wants to uh, wants to learn. So if I want to if I want to learn more about the human body, I'll choose to reincarnate on earth or maybe on another okay. another physical world. It's, it's okay. up to me. Okay. Whatever I would like to learn. So it's it's similar, you know, like uh, if i'm if i'm if i am um, if i'm choosing subjects so which subject i'm interested in which subject i want to learn first which subject is difficult for me i want to keep it aside you know it's more like that you say so you have somebody or a panel or one person that helps you uh, plan no. your, your... No, uh, these are um, these are guide souls uh, who have uh, separated uh, before you and have the experience of reincarnation already and you have this guy the soul family these advanced guides who guide you on your journey of course they never force you but they explain all the options of label to you because they have lived that journey and they know what are the pros and cons of that journey so they just guide you they yes. just explain you the pros and cons but the free will is always there the choice is always yours are, are, are you is that when you're assigned a guardian angel that stays with you from birth to death yes. okay yes. so I, but that, that, I, I, that's for the human that's for the human reincarnation okay this is this is soul family this is on the soul level okay but i hear that i mean i know that this one uh soul that jenny butler uh trans channel called grace or gracie that um you know she uh, uh looked at me and said oh you got a lot put a lot on your plate it looks like she um uh helps people um hmm look over their their plan um mm. uh, and stuff so like a guidance counselor i guess are there people yeah. like that uh that that, that yeah. specialty like there's some that that help um yeah souls transition and all that and yes help- exactly so he's saying mom we are teams there are different teams and they are assigned different tasks now you need okay. to understand the concept of oneness so it's like like it's eric you know who comes back and guides the souls who are in the bodies and also help their transition so he's in that team there uh, there is the team who looks after the new born souls there is a team uh, to look after the souls who are going for their first reen- first incarnation oh. Oh. and guide them in their soul plan of that very first lifetime he's saying mom i'm going to explain that how does how does a soul uh, take on the first lifetime what happens and you know how it comes into the concept of free will and soul plan and spiritual contract and at every point of time we have this council of guy uh, of guides and souls who guide us when we are uh, when we are just the souls in the spirit world and then there are those who guide us when we incarnate in the human body okay so well, that's are, another lecture right yeah, yeah. okay all right so the uh, so the next part of the of the journey of the um, so do you want to talk about the 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 college then it goes to college i mean we're given the overall kind yeah, yeah. of yeah. we are explaining yeah. the overall journey of the soul and then okay. maybe in the next le- lecture you will uh, talk about the first human life the first incarnation okay. so right now he's saying uh, right now he's saying that he wants to answer all those uh, basic questions which you have been receiving from so many members that why are we forced why we when we know that there is so much of suffering and death why do we come into this life why do we choose this human life so he's saying it is a choice and you make it so much willingly because you need to grow you can't uh, you can't get stuck at one point of time in your journey it gets boring 
and uh, at any point of time you uh, you will feel this ambition to grow ahead on this to move ahead on this journey to experience more of the reality which are, which are you know offered to you and even though uh, when you are in the soul form even though you look at this suffering and at this disease and pain and hot part of the human life you know that you are going to grow you grow out of it and you are going to move closer to your final goal of liberation and that's what inspires you to take that risk yeah and no one forces you it's your pure free will you are allowed to exist in the spirit world for eternity if you if you wish to yeah. and there is never uh, there is never force or pressure there is always guidance and help and oneness so he says the many have uh, many have asked me in my course of workshops and otherwise also that then how do we know how many lifetimes do we need to you know actually finish actually complete the learning of the basics of the spirit world so that we gain an entry to the advanced levels of the spirit world and he's saying that again you know uh, he's saying mom you might you might fail in fifth standard and me being the bright one can uh, cross <laughs> can cross cross three levels in just one attempt i can do that so it really depends on each and every soul how long it takes to learn a particular lesson how long it takes to learn from a particular experience and that's what determines the number of lifetimes or the number of reincarnations a particular soul will take so he's saying me being the brightest one me being the scholar you know mom <laughs> he's saying i'll i'll cross the i'll cross the school like this and and uh, and he's saying maybe sweetie might take longer than mom, me because she's <laughs> she's very and he's saying because she's such a silly head she might take double time than me <laughs> so obviously i'll have to take more lifetimes to experience it this is how he believes me you see that this is how he believes me he calls uh -huh. me a silly head he calls me a sleepy head <laughs> hey, <Rick. laughs> that's how he is i know he's just pulling your chain and he's so smug he's so smug you know standing in that professor attire with you know jumpers and with a black rimmed glasses and he's written this is professor eric rude medus's class and you know he has that entire setup going on this is how oh, i'm communicating so <laughs> it's very funny he's saying um he's saying uh, mom if you remember i i always wanted to teach i always wanted to bring about an awakening an enlightenment to all those who have this hunger and thirst of understanding of asking the real questions and this is what i'm getting to do today oh. and that's why he said it will be and you do it like just so what happens in college the college area yeah so he says once once the soul has finished the reincarnations where it has achieved the level of consciousness where it gains the entry to the advanced levels of the spirit world there is there is advanced understanding on mental levels on subtle levels on astral levels which the soul has to grow and experience and then finally reach a point where it's able to merge back with the creator so he's saying no the reincarnation is not the end game there is lot of higher learning there is college there is phd and then you liberate and you much to the creator source energy so he's saying mom the information available at the advanced levels even if i reveal it to you at this point of time so it's it will be like um, a teaching uh, teaching a child uh, the uh, the terrible concepts of trigonometry and geometry and algebra oh, and, and the child will feel lost so he's saying i really can't reveal that information because it will be oh, yeah. it will it yeah. will not <laughs> connect to your consciousness at this point of time but he's saying there is a future journey after coming out of reincarnation these are the advanced levels of the spirit world of course help and guidance is available at each level and the moment you reach a level where you finally understand who is your source and you are the source you are the part of the source okay. and there is no need to exist outside of the source when that when that realization dawns it's not the understanding he's saying it's the realization that's when you merge back and the creator accepts it accept you as its own well who, what kind of souls are in college like mother teresa or or uh he's saying uh, uh the avatars the uh, the liberated ones 
uh, not to mention after uh, entering the advanced levels of the spirit world, these souls still choose to reincarnate, not because they have to learn, but because they have to guide and lead many others oh, yeah. to help them. Yeah, to help them to reach a point they have reached, because these are the souls who have learned and understood love in its bestest form, and they and they feel that oneness and that and they feel to share that love and that understanding to bring as many of their brothers and sisters closer, closer to the source. Interesting. So that makes sense. Yeah. Oh, how so many times do we, on an average, do we hmm. live before we go to college? Okay, so um, uh, you know, Aliza, how it is. Like uh, when, uh, when we channel like, with, our, with us mediums, you know, we are so much governed by our conditionings, our prejudices, by our upbringing, oh, yeah. then we channel uh, certain information. And I, being born in India, I have followed this Eastern Vedic system of life and we have our scriptures you oh, know we yeah. have the Gita yeah we have the Gita the Ramzan and all of the Bible all of them speak about the same essence but just in different uh, theories and theologies okay yeah, yeah. so so he he knows that I know that and he's looking I'm sure yeah all of those channels anyway so yeah. yeah yeah so I I have that information in my being because I'm a Hindu and I follow the Gita and the scriptures say, he says, tell her, tell her. So what do you know? Tell her. So the scripture says that a, that a soul needs at least 84 lakhs. I don't know how that number has come, but it's the scriptures which say that a minimum 84 lakhs of lifetimes to reach a level where it can finally break that reincarnation wheel and go to the advanced levels of the spirit world to never come back to the physical world because it's so that's journey is complete. Yeah. But some people make a like hundred thousand lives. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it's again very subjective. It's again yeah. very subjective. Maybe I need more than 84 lakhs. It's not fixed, he's saying, yeah. mom, but it's more of an average. Yeah. Eric, how many lives have I lived so far? I'm probably in the remedial class, but I'm okay. Oh, mom, thousands, thousands, he's saying. Wow, I bet. You are an old soul. You are an old soul. That's how we called. That means I'm a slow animal. learner. You're telling me I'm a slow learner. But okay, so how many have you lived, Eric, so far? Thousands again, mom. Thousands. I can't really count them. But again, he is at an advanced level of the spirit world. And he still needs to take human lifetimes. He's saying that. But he's still at a very advanced level of the reincarnation wheel where he is... Uh, teaching and teaching and uh, growing more while being in the spirit world he has chosen to learn while being in the spirit world and yet helping this world because it helps his learning and understanding also well, maybe we can uh, so, maybe we can go to college together we could be roommates <laughs> in a co-ed dorm what do you think mom why do you think i'm waiting for you why do you think i've still not reincarnated and i'm still with you uh -huh. all right anything else you want to say about the the journey of the soul uh, he's saying, uh, Mom, I want it to be a series of lectures and next we'll come to a point where a soul has finally decided to take the first human lifetime. That sounds good. And then he is going to explain how a soul plan is made, how a soul is guided by its council of guides, by ascended masters, uh, and how it is guided to uh, design its first ever soul plan. And how does the concept of free will, karma and destiny uh, will figure in this concept of soul plan. He's saying, I'm very excited to teach that. So he's going to start from the very first lifetime, how a soul planned the very first lifetime, what was the soul plan, what was the spiritual contract, and then, then that entire journey of reincarnation until we reach this particular lifetime that we're experiencing. So he's saying, this is about the journey of the soul and next we'll be discussing our first human incarnation. So he's saying, Mom, are you ready for the ride? Are you ready for the ride? We are pushing you to your first incarnation. <laughs> the one question I ask that seems to be on people's minds a lot is this concept of the soul trap. A lot of people think that reincarnation is, there's, there's this soul trap that, that, I don't know if it's reptilians or some evil entities are like 
trapping you. No, he's saying, Mom, he's saying, Mom, we always have a free will. Either we are in the spirit world in our original form as a soul, as a being of light, or we are in the body, we always have a free will. No one controls us. The yeah. soul trap is yeah. more where we get, in, get entrapped in our own weaknesses and our own inability to learn a specific lesson and we kind of go on reincarnating again and again, taking uh, taking uh, lifetimes again and again to learn that one particular lesson it go, and it goes on getting more and more difficult. So okay. I call that a soul trap, but no, we are not trapped otherwise. Okay. We are free, we are free. No reptilians are like, hey, hey. all right, sounds good. <laughs> Thank you. Bye, everybody. Mom, I love you. I love you. Mom, I love you. <laughs> this is a really cool start to a great series, I can tell. I'm excited. Eric is excited. Okay, bye. Bye-bye.